I had never really incorporated Iranian culture much into my work. Um, not that I didn't want to, but just the opportunity hadn't been there. Mm-hmm. And I realized like, well, I have the opportunity to do it here. I, I control this Instagram. I can do pretty much whatever I want. And I have felt very, very disappointed for a long time that in, uh, in mass media and in, in films and TVs, that representation for not only Middle East, not only Iranians, but Middle Easters in general is so limited, limited, more limited than I would say pretty much every other minority. Um, I mean, I, I don't quote me on that. I know that there's, there's a lot of, there's, it happens a lot. And I don't want to compare, but let's just say the, the, the amount end. of rep it's on definitely on the lower end. You know, not, uh, it doesn't mean it's less or more than any other, less or more important than the other, but it's, so low and it's okay that it's low because for so many years it was okay to look at middle easterns iranians arabs afghans as terrorists as low life as criminal because you know because there was sort of that war on terror and whatnot it obviously trickled down to also the cultures so it's like it it really hurt the way people look at us to this day if you think about it, the Iranian people haven't had a good thing said about them in the media in 40 something years, you know? Um, so I was like, I wanted to do something to just, I don't know, like just even show people that I know that, hey, I'm Iranian. This is actually my culture. Let me show you a little bit of it. Maybe you'll think it's funny and maybe you won't think it's something negative or there is a potential threat or that. That maybe you, you, I don't know. I, I again, I had no idea people would watch these videos. Well, this is what I was going to ask actually. Did you want to cater to a certain community or did you put out something and you got an overwhelming response from that Persian community? Uh, exactly. The second one. I okay. was like, I want to make these videos. It was literally, I want to make a video so my American friends get an idea of this culture and, and my culture. Um, <laughs> but then little by little, I just saw like a, a, the Iranians commenting and liking and following me and Yes. And uh, uh, I was just really, really surprised. I didn't even think anybody would watch it. And then it just kind of like grew and grew and grew. And then once that happened and I saw that and a lot of people reached out to me and, you know, just through their kindness and their support, they made me feel like hey, it's an important thing. If it's mm-hmm. making people happy, it's making people from my culture happy, yeah. especially uh, and mostly people from, like you said, people who are from like who grew up like I did, like we did, you know, we just grew up in a different culture. So we're sort of like bicultural, but living in one particular culture. And like, I think maybe that's why a lot of people um, sort of were gravitated towards it for, for whatever reason they did. Um, and then, uh, so I was very, very surprised and, and just kind of, it was just very humbling because I'd never had an opportunity to really connect with my culture or my people in that level. I had left Iran pretty early. Right. Um, and, uh, through that, I've gotten so much more connected to my culture. And it's all thanks to the people who like reach out to me and just, um, and so now I do want to cater to, to uh, Iranians. Just, and my goal is to cater to Iranians everywhere, all over the world. But mm-hmm. uh, even bigger than that is to cater to anybody who's a fan of comedy, anybody who's a fa- fan of TV film. That's the overall goal to take it to a place where, uh, as an Iranian American, I can represent for Americans all over the world. Uh, I mean, for people all over the world, it just so happens that I'm Iranian. You know what I mean? It, it, that get to a place of normalization where it's like the culture doesn't even matter anymore. Yeah. Well, that's, um, that's what I was kind of alluding to uh, earlier when I was like, I think this is kind of like what's driving him now. I feel like you just have constantly ideas in your head on like, man, I have an opportunity right now to really represent us and to tag team with other people that can help represent this. So is that it? Is that like, would you say that the pandemic has kind of like created this um, opportunity for you to consider and like now maybe you're churning your head or maybe you've already begun uh, the steps that you need to take to be able to take this onto the big screens or, you know, sitcoms or whatever. Like, t- tell me if that's something that's right now in your future absolutely absolutely that's that's really what i'm uh, sort of behind the scenes working on mostly is to be able to i'm working on a couple of different projects that uh trying to do this exact thing Mm -hmm. um 
you know, sell projects to uh, major cable network and streaming companies. Get that out there and let the people see it. Let the people judge it for itself. In the end of the day, my main thing is I want to make comedy that everybody can laugh at and everybody can enjoy. And if it's about Iranian people, Iranian culture, I mean, it, it, that's the ultimate goal. Would the you, ultimate goal is, yeah. Go sorry, sorry, but uh, would you want to like produce it and write it and, and do all that? Or would you like to team up with somebody where you're just a lead actor? What, what is your involvement in your utopic uh, vision of this uh, grand project of yours? Well, the thing is, um, I, I believe in, and I, and I don't mean, I don't want this to sound in any way, shape or form arrogant. I, I mean it as in, in terms of what I think would be best for this. For me, it would be that I need to basically control the creative aspect of it. Um, at least give me an opportunity to do so, to, yeah. to showcase what it could be. And, you know, if it's you know, basically like right now, one of the projects that I'm working, I can't talk about too much because of just uh, legalities. Um, yeah. It's basically, you know, a project that I wrote with my writing partner that now we are taking that with me attached that now we are taking around to sort of to sell it. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, uh, if if I want to sort of break into it the way. I want to, I feel like I have to be sort of steering the ship. Um, and don't get me wrong. If a situation comes up where I can come on just as a lead actor to it, I would never turn that down too, because I, I love collaborating and there's so many damn talented people in the industry and so many talented Iranians that are coming up that, that, you know, are, are going to start getting in writer's rooms. They're going to start becoming producers. They're going to start becoming uh, development executives at, at networks and studios. If that's really going to start happening. And these are the type of people I truly look forward to collaborating with um, within this sort of Hollywood system because it's a, it's a crazy-ass system. And it's like we need as many of us as we can to sort of, like, tell these stories to create this, to create this sort of this image that I think we all want to create, which is like to let people know that the Iranian culture is, is something that you, you know, it's, it's more than what the media portrays <laughs> much more. The media is portraying not even any aspect of the call. They're, they're, they're portraying the, the behavior of, of the government. Yeah. And anyone in this country could say it is like, especially after four years of Trump is like, Hey, our government, and the people who run our government are not representative of the values of the people of the culture of this country. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with Iran. The, that government does not represent the values of the people. It does not represent the behavior and the hearts and the minds of the people. And I think anybody who's gone to Iran, any non-Iranian who's gone to Iran has seen that firsthand. You know, well, I, 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 get, I, I do believe we are going the right direction. I feel like, you know, people are getting on a diversity train more. People are, you know, accepting of different sexual orientations. And, you know, I, I think we're evolving. I hate to use that word yeah. because we should have evolved uh, thousands of years ago. But there's still right. some, you know, there's a lot of work to be done. And I, 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 I see a lot of potential in what the younger generation of Iranian, especially Americans, are doing, you know, you see people like Nassim Pedrad, you know, getting on TBS and doing her yes, own thing. Yes. It's not the, the most accurate depiction of whatever, but it's it's cool. It's just great to see that there's somebody, a, a young Iranian American female that's producing it on TBS. You know, I mean, no matter what you think of the show, just, you know, doing that, I think it's, it's impressive. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Her, yeah. for, for, you know, the fact that she came up with the idea, she wrote it, she directed Incredible. the pilot. Yeah. Also, as, as far as Hollywood has come, it's still... When, when it comes to development and stuff, it's still a boys club, unfortunately. Yeah. So for a woman to come in there and and be able to get her vision across the screen, she had to really jump through hurdles. She had to jump through hurdles that a, a man wouldn't have had. And so like everyone should commend her and, and respect for what she did. She had a vision, a very unique vision mm -hmm. that she fulfilled. And that's hard to do no matter what, let alone uh, a, a woman of color. It's, and it's, um, it's incredible uh, what she's done, the fact that she did that Chad character as a 13-year-old boy. I mean, but anyway, that's a, right, right. That's a whole different thing. Um, I, hope, I hope to have her as a guest, but that's incredible, you know? <laughs> right, right. Um, it, it absolutely incredible, yeah. 
Awesome people, I appreciate you watching this segment. To watch the full video, which you should, please click up here. And then if you want to join our text community, the number is right about here. And even though you don't need no reminders and you've heard a billion times, if you like, like the video, subscribe, hit the little ring of ding a ding ding bell so you can be notified for our next video. Thank you so much and appreciate you watching. Awesome people.